An alleged human trafficker, Mokogwe Ige, on parade at the Nigerian Immigration Service Edo State Command Headquarters in Benin City, the state capital. The 30-year-old barber has been arrested for attempting to lure these 16-year-old Igodao twins into taking a trip to Ghana in search of greener pastures. So went to his shop to barb here. Then he told them, then he told them that, look at some of our friends that used to barb here, that they are our friends that we should always come here to barb here. Yeah. They asked that, okay. Then he, then he brought his phone and told them that, look at some of our friends that, he, that, we, that we live in the same neighborhood. I look at our photos that he helped them to Ghana, that he is one that even teach them how those barbing to work. Mr. Ege says this botched trip is only his second transaction in the illicit business. I'm not taking it to the other uh, ritual side or the other Dabolika side. It's just a, 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 a just to have to ta ta uh, to press the laptop, not the ritual type. Internet is hot. Uh, yes. So why are you saying you are leaving them to crime and it's okay for you? Uh, all this thing, I, I know the is um, um, at fault. The controller of Nigeria Immigration Service, Edo State Command, Kayode Eniolonda, says the efforts of the Edo State Government, the Oba of Benin, and other stakeholders in combating the human trafficking scourge so far have been yielding positive results. But he also warns that human trafficking is now assuming a new and dangerous dimension. This time, underage children are lured into the, the dastardly act. The traffickers now use viewing centers, football betting centers, and barber salons as their recruitment centers. The trend is to lure children who come for their services to travel out of Nigeria to not Libya this time around, but neighboring countries, particularly Ghana. The children are enticed with pictures of persons who had gone out before them living large. In the face of the current security challenges in the country, concerned authorities also advise parents to learn from this type of experiences and keep a closer watch on the activities of their children.